Hey guys, Miata Man here. Today we've got a 2000 Miata and yesterday, out of the blue, it started to run really rough, a misfire. And when I scanned it, it came up with a P0300 code, which is a random multiple misfire. Now, if you have a 99 or 2000 Miata, the weak point on these is the coil pack. And when it starts to fail, it can run rough, misfire, and throw that specific code. So this car is low miles. It's just had a new set of plugs and wires. So we know it's not the plugs and wires. The next thing to do is the coil pack on this car because eventually they go bad anyway. So we're gonna put that in today. So I'll quickly show you what to do. And I've loosened a few things off already to make it quicker for you. So here we go. Now, before you start, take a picture of everything. Take a picture of the top of this. Take a picture of the position of each of these wires. They all have numbers on. That one's number four, that one's number one, that one's number two, and that one's number three. So that's the firing order. So on the coil pack at the back, it's four, one, two, three. And the piston, or the cylinders go one, two, three, four, right? So just take note of that so that when you put these in, like these are obvious because they're a certain length, but connecting them back on when you put the new coil pack in, you want to make sure it goes four, one, two, three in that order, okay? So quickly pull these off. Now, another tip, when I put these brand new ones in, I put, uh, you can use Vaseline or you can use some, uh, some synthetic dielectric grease and you can put that around there. And when you put these in, it makes sure that they go in all the way. A lot of times when you see them, guys don't get them in all the way because they don't want to go in when they're brand new and they're sitting up like that. So they're actually sitting up about a quarter inch. So. Uh, you want them all the way down, and the way to get that with new ones is to grease them up first, okay? All right, next we've got two 12-millimeter bolts, and they're at the back of the coil pack here. So what you want to do is disconnect that little clip at the back here. This goes to the O2 sensor, and so what I do is I take a little pair of pliers here, and I get underneath, and I squeeze the two halves of this together. So you can squeeze it right here. So if you can get underneath it, squeeze that, that'll pop right off and you won't be breaking any clips. Okay? That gives you a bit more room to get at those 12 millimeter bolts. There's not a lot of room in there. So we're gonna go in from the back and I'm gonna show you this in detail after. I'm just gonna get this out and then we can show you what's going on. hand right in there there we go so that's loose now I can turn that there we are so that's the bracket that this clips into so don't lose that leave the nut right in it there we go now we're gonna go around the other side and do the same thing If you got really big hands, this might be a bit of a challenge. But if you've got good dexterity and you get your fingers around the corner, then this will be a lot easier for you. If you have a ratcheting wrench like the one I have right now, it makes it even easier because it's got a flex head on it too. Now you can make this even easier by removing some of this stuff as well, but I like to make it a little more challenging because it's more fun. So there we go. Now I can turn that with my fingers. 
And be careful not to drop the bolt because it, it'll disappear down the back of the motor. And you got a 50-50 chance of it popping out the bottom or getting hung up somewhere else. So there you are, 12 millimeter bolt. And what we're gonna do is use our magnetic dish, put those in. Now, a lot of these coil packs, there's a third bolt. And if it's been worked on before, somebody will take that bolt out and not put it back in. And you gotta reach underneath to get to it. And I'll show you how it looks when you're done. So I'm gonna get right in there. Okay, support this with your hand, that way it makes it easier to get the bolt out. That's it. Okay, cradle the bolt with your hand, that's the one. That's the third bolt, that's what they call the pivot bolt. That allows the coil pack to move back and forth like this. Okay, now, we need to get our little pliers. And, gosh, I think what we'll do first is we'll disconnect this, we'll unplug this connection for the O2 sensor. Now these things can be quite stiff. Especially if they haven't been off before. There we are. Now, we've got this thing almost out. Now at the back of here, we've got two electrical connections onto the coil pack. And I will show you those up close and personal in a second. And it's the same thing. There's a tab on that you have to push down and then you have to pull up on it. Of course, it's very difficult to get to. Yeah, you have to be patient when trying to get this stuff off. So what I'm gonna do, make our lives a bit easier, I think, is I'm gonna pull this forward here. And that's a 10 millimeter nut that we just undid. And there's another one over here. That'll get this all this stuff movable and we can move it out of the way if we need to. It'll make it a lot easier to get our hands in there and work on it. There we go. There we go. So that allows us to move this up and out of the way. Now I can get at those, those plugs on the back of the coil pack. Really stiff, because they've never been undone. Never. I think what we might do is try to pull this up and out a bit more so I can get at that. Sometimes your fingers aren't strong enough, so you gotta use something else to get those clips down just to get them moving so you can get underneath it. This is probably the, the hardest part of the whole job, just getting these undone. So everything else is easy. Okay. 
think what I might do is I'm gonna use this bracket as a tool. So I'm gonna slide that in there underneath where the coil pack and the plug meet, there's a little bit of a gap. And if I can get that tab compressed, I can use this to pry the plug off. Hopefully, this thing will give up and come out. Or not. Yeah, it's a stubborn one. I got my hand caught. There we go. All right. Yeah, that's really on there. Yeah. Yeah, simple jobs are complicated by simple things. And that doesn't want to come off. So I got another way. So our next, next thing we can do, we can take our little pliers and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go underneath here and we're gonna squeeze that little clip and pop this off just to give us a bit more, a bit more room to move. And we're gonna do the same on this side. I'm just gonna go in there. Squeeze that little thing underneath. There we are. Okay, that gets that out of the way. Gives us a little bit more room to move on the coil pack. This is a lot easier to do with the valve cover off, of course, but it's completely doable with the valve cover still on. It's just a little more difficult at times. Hmm. Now, a long screwdriver would be an asset right now as well, just to get underneath the plug. But Well, okay, I'm gonna get some lube and we're gonna spray this thing. <laughs> 